Hi, this is Steve Adams with GrowingBasil.org. Recently, we had a reader write in asking about growing store-bought basil on their windowsill at home. So what we're going to do today is we're going to conduct a little experiment. I went out and I bought three different basil plants from the local store, and we're going to try growing them in water on the windowsill over the next couple weeks and see how they do. Our first basil plant is going to receive nothing but water over the next few weeks. Our second basil plant is going to receive a small amount of fertilizer in the water. And our third basil plant is going to receive twice the dose of fertilizer and water that the second plant will receive. The fertilizer that we're going to be using for basil plants two and three is a general synthetic fertilizer. Now all fertilizers are made up of three components, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. This is a fairly well balanced fertilizer. Um, this one has 8% uh, nitrogen by weight, 7% phosphorus by weight, and 6% potassium by weight. All fertilizers actually have these numbers marked on the back. Now the reason we're using a synthetic fertilizer here and not an organic fertilizer is because organic fertilizers rely on microbes and bacteria in the soil to break down whatever components are in the fertilizer to provide nutrients for the plants. In this case we have no soil, we have no microbes really to break down those nutrients for our plants so we're just going to use a synthetic fertilizer. The side effect of this is the fact that we're probably going to have to fertilize it more often than if we were to use an organic fertilizer in soil. The thing about growing plants in water is that it really doesn't need soil. Soil actually keeps it from growing properly and can suffocate the roots. What we really need to do is remove all the extra dirt from the root ball before putting it in our glasses. Okay, now we're going to mix the solution for basil plant number two. So we're going to put 10 drops of this fertilizer in this quart container. And then we're going to fill it with filtered water. Now we're going to cap it. Give it a good shake, and then we're going to fill this glass with the water that has 10 drops of fertilizer in it for basil plant number two. We're going to add 10 additional drops for basil plant number three. Or roughly that much. So now we have all three of our basil plants in their glasses of water. To summarize, the first basil plant is just in water. The second basil plant is in water with 10 drops of our fertilizer. The third basil plant is in water with 20 drops of our fertilizer. So here we are one week later into our basil experiment. As you can see, the basil on the left is not doing well. The basil on the right is also not doing well. And the basil in the middle <laughs> It's doing better, to, better than both basil plants one and three, but it's also not doing too great. One of the main components of a hydroponic grow system is the fact that water is circulated through the roots of the plant and it's oxygenated so that the roots can get oxygen. Now the leaves themselves get energy through the process of photosynthesis, but the roots don't have that same luxury. From this experiment, I think we can conclude that growing and sustaining basil in water without a hydroponic system is not only difficult, but maybe impossible.